Hey, good to see you there. Hi, welcome to our lab about pendulums. Today, we changed the length of the rope the pendulum was hanging on and varied the degree that we um, held the pendulum to to see the effects on period. Uh, to do this lab, we used a photo gate sensor attached at the top of the pendulum here, and it measured the amount of times the string passed through it um, to get that period. I think it's two angles. Hi guys, welcome back from that demonstration. In this experiment, we tried to prove the small angle approximation with our data, which says that angles below 10 degrees will have the same period and in this data, you can see that angles below tw uh, 15 degrees actually had very similar periods. So we proved that. Here is our graph for period versus angle. We graphed it so you could more easily see the relationship between the period and the angle. As you can see here, that um, below 15 degrees that it was kind of constant and then after 15 degrees it had a steady upslope further proving the small angle approximation and in this experiment we were changing the length of the string to see the effect it had on the period and the shorter the length of the string got the shorter the period got um, and in this equation that we derived from Newton's second law you can see that the length is directly dependent on the period, so our data matches that. All right, here's our bitching graph of period squared versus length. You can tell that it's really bitching because it's a nice linear line. As the length goes up, the period goes up. And this gave us a y equals mx plus b um, formula, and we were able to use this number to uh, estimate gravity. standard linear equation and we use this to model this equation right here. And this equation actually derives from this one but this one gives us a linear line. Yeah. We graphed the data sets and we found the slope of that using this equation right here to plug into this equation and through this we found out or this equation right here was to find out the percent error and through all that we found we only had a 0.36% error. 